stone castles seem to just grow out of the sand here. You're on a beach, you look up, and there is Bamburgh Castle perched high on a great outcrop of rock. This is the site where the kings of Northumbria lived, and when Oswald became king in 633, he asked the abbot of Iona to send monks to convert his people to Christianity. The first mission returned to Scotland in failure, but the success of the second was down to the gifts of its leader, Aidan, who settled on Lindisfarne, or Holy Island as it came to be called. However, life on Lindisfarne became too distracting for St Aidan and his successor St Cuthbert, and they came here to the Farne Islands to live as hermits. They may have withdrawn from the world, but their influence stretched far beyond these shores. This was the golden age of Northumberland, where Northumberland was producing great art, great peoples, peoples that have been remembered forever because of their actual ability to communicate with other people. I think people are interested today in people like Cuthbert and Aidan because of their attachment to the world. They actually loved the world. They loved nature, they loved living, and they had a great vitality for life. Their love of the world is reflected in the way they weren't afraid to go and be on their own for a good while. You can't live on in a farm unless you love the world. They saw no separation between holy and secular. There was no bit that did not belong to God. I heard the voice of Jesus say My nice. 